Hello guys, welcome to this next lecture. In the previous lecture, we have seen how we can configure our Eclipse IDE so that we can use Spring Boot application into it. And along with that, we have also seen how we can create one Spring Boot application and how we can create one REST endpoint in the Spring in in the Spring Boot project. And also, we have tested that Spring uh, endpoint from the Postman. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create one Angular application. So the planning for this series is like we will create one front end and back end as well and we will see different CRUD operations using these latest technologies. So in the last lecture we have already created our Spring Boot project. So in this video we are going to create our Angular project. So let's see how to do this. So in, in let me go to my drive and in this let me go to my G drive and over here. Uh, for the previous lecture, I have already created this Spring workspace which will hold all the backend projects. So let me create one folder again so that I, I will store all my Angular projects inside it. So let me use Angular workspace like this. Now let's let me go to inside this folder and over here we need to uh, start the command prompt because we need to create the project in 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 this location so how we will open this we need to go at these search bar and let's click on that and let's erase all these things and let me type cmd which means command prompt so it will open command prompt in this particular location so as you can see the location is g drive and inside this angular workspace so here we need to write a command to create one new angular project so before creating angular project we must need to install angular cli so also i have uh, shown you how we can uh, install the angular cli so if you haven't watched my video you can click on this i button and you can watch that video because that is necessary to that is the necessary step to create angular project so over here let me type command called as a ng new and here we need to give a project name so let me give student dashboard as a project name so let me show you uh, what the command is so ng means angular new means we want to create new project and here we need to give the project name so the project name can be any so let me hit the enter and it will start creating these angular projects so we need to uh, wait for a couple of seconds so that it will import all the necessary files now this will ask you some few questions so the first question is would you like to add routing module so we need to give s and over here you will find what kind of uh, styles your style sheet you want so let me keep it as css itself so if you if you want to go for scss then you can use this arrow and you can hit the enter so in this case i will just keep it as a css itself so let me hit enter and it will start importing all the project so as you can see lot of files will get created for us so now as you can see the project is created for me it took me really long because my internet connection was really spotty so it might take a uh, bit long or a bit short depending upon the internet connection so now project is created let me go to my g directory again and here inside this angular workspace and over here you will find this student dashboard so if you click this or open this, then you will find different uh, folders and files which are really related to the Angular application. So we need to open this student dashboard folder into the Visual Studio code. So let me go to Visual Studio and over here inside this file, you will find this open folder option. So click on these and select your, fo your folder. So my folder is uh, resides in this G against uh, Angular workspace and student dashboard. So select this folder and click on select folder here. So it will open that folder into the Visual Studio code. So now the folder is open. You are, here you will find all these files reside which are uh, in the in in the student dashboard folder. So this is how we can create new project. So let's see how we can run this project. So over here. To run this project, we need to run some commands. So to run the commands, Visual Studio Code gives an option. So here we need to go for terminal and inside these go for new terminal. So here we need to type 
uh, first command as a cmd because by default the terminal gets opened with the powershell and some of the angular related commands will not run into this powershell so we, we need to make sure that we are running it into the command prompt so let let me type cmd and hit enter so it will open the command prompt now we want to run this student dashboard project so for that we need to write command called as a ng surf and let me hit the enter so this is the command through which we can run our angular project so basically we are serving this angular project so it will ask you some questions so in this we need to go for no and let me hit enter again and we need to wait again couple of seconds so that it will compile and it will start running the application now as you can see the application is compiled successfully and uh, here we will find the message like application is running on server server and port called as a local host 4200 so we need to go into the browser and we need to type this local host 4200 so let me type local host and 4200 and hit the enter so as you can see it is giving message like student dashboard app is running so if you are able to find this web page that means your application is running successfully so this is how we can create one angular application and we can run it um, in uh, run it uh, into the web browser so in this video we learn how to create the angular application and how to run this and in the upcoming videos we are going to make a larger series of Mm, CRUD operations in which we will see both front-end and back-end development. So if you do not want to miss those videos, then you need to subscribe my channel. So thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my channel, learn programming yourself.